Hey guys, um, I just wanted to do a quick video on how to get your shells nice and shiny and pretty. Um, a lot of you have been asking me about muriatic acid and dipping shells and it's not something that I do really ever. I have in the past, I do not, um, I don't recommend doing it. It's not something that that I like to do ever because it really, it, it's just, it's time consuming. It's dangerous for you. It's dangerous for your shells. Um, acid is a chemical and it can really ruin your shells. It can damage shells that have pitting on them and um, and it's also just dangerous for you. You really need to take precautions. So if, if you are set on, on wanting to acid dip your shells, that is totally fine. I'm not telling you not to do it, um, but I am gonna have you watch my my video on precautions for, for muriatic acid so you understand you know what, what precautions you need to take, safety equipment to use, um, and, and kind of some of the reasons that I, I don't personally like to do it. But one of the reasons people do like to use acid is you'll notice like this lightning whelk has this white kind of film on it and that's a calcium buildup. And a lot of people when they see this shell on the beach, um, same thing with this banded tulip here, it almost looks white. And most people would think that this tulip was just bleached out from the sun. And in some cases, yes, the shells do get bleached out um, sitting in the sun. But most of the time, this is just calcium buildup on the shell. And the way that the, the acid works is it literally eats away at that calcium and removes it from the top of the shell. So then you have the nice shiny shell underneath and the way that it looks afterwards is the way that you find the shell when it's wet in the water and it's nice and bright and shiny. So I'm gonna show you guys today what I do and what I prefer to do, which is much, much safer and much easier. I just use mineral oil. You can get this at Walgreens. You can get it at Walmart. It's just a couple dollars. It's not expensive. And you can use um, you can use a paintbrush, you can use a washcloth. I'm just gonna use a Q-tip here because that's just what I have handy. I'm gonna dip a little bit into my mineral oil and I'm gonna show you what happens when I paint on the mineral oil to half of my lightning whelk. And you will see that it really just starts to darken it right up. So you guys can see the difference on one side versus the other side. It's like night and day. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole thing. And you don't need a lot um, when I'm using a Q-tip. A Q-tip's probably not the best thing to use, but that's just what I had handy. But you just paint it on there. And I like to do the inside of the shell too. And you'll see that that white is just disappearing. And then I like to take just a washcloth, just a washcloth, and I like to just rub off all the excess oil so it's not super oily and it doesn't get all over the place. It doesn't get all over your counter or your clothes or anything else. And you will see that this whelk is now super bright and super pretty. And you can do this with all of the different types of shells um, that you have. If the shell is naturally shiny, um, usually this won't work quite as well. Like if you have an olive or a calico clam, it won't work quite as well. But any of the shells that have like a matte finish, if there's calcium buildup, it works super, super well to make them nice and shiny again and bright. You can also shellac these. You can take a spray acrylic if you are using these shells in a project that you don't want to have to worry about re-oiling them because down the road, yes, the oil will eventually dry out and it will eventually need re-oiling and re-application. So you can take a spray acrylic and spray them down and it will give it the same shiny dark appearance. So that's especially nice for things like picture frames, shell mirrors, 
things that are going to be out on display that you might not want to have to worry about trying to oil the shells but look how pretty that cleaned up I mean that was like a white shell and now this banded tulip has some color back some life back into it and it's a beautiful tulip so again you can do this to all all of your shells that are white the scallops especially clean up look how bright that just got especially bright and shiny I love cleaning up the scallops and again I just um if you use a paintbrush and you're just painting on a thin layer of oil you sometimes don't even have to wipe the excess off but when I'm using my q-tip sometimes it um, puts a little bit too, too much on there so here we go again and it just really makes it nice and bright hopefully that's showing up well for you on the camera get in little cracks and crevices get it nice and bright it just brings the shell right back to life a dull shell that looks all sun bleached to life and we'll do a couple more it really does bring out the oranges too if you have an orange scallop especially an orange scallop that looks really white it really brings out that shine and that color in the scallop and the same thing for conchs too here's a juvenile fighting conch and you'll be able to see there's not a whole lot of calcium buildup on this little guy but you'll be able to see just with a little bit of oil that white calcium just goes away and you're really left with a beautiful shell so I hope this helps you guys um, with your video or with your I hope this video helps you guys with your shell cleaning and shining of your shells if you guys have any questions please comment below and I'll see you again soon bye